an autonomous underwater vehicle. Our Rosa Flores is out front in Golden Meadow, Louisiana. And Rosa, you're aboard the Ms. Ginger, uh, has the ability, I know, to launch one of those uh, AUVs. So what are we looking at behind you? So this device dives into the ocean several miles and creates a map of the ocean floor. Like you mentioned, it's an AUV, an autonomous underwater vehicle. It uses side scan technology to create that map. It's also equipped with a GPS system. Now let's go ahead and start launching this. And this is owned by CNC Technologies. It's highly customized. And hear this, it has been used in the past to identify and recover, help recover airplane wreckage. And Aaron, in the case of MH370, this would help narrow the search of that debris field. What exactly is it going to be looking for when it goes under that, you know, incredibly, those, those rough seas, if this was actually used for MH370, what would it be looking for? So what you're looking at right now, it's getting deployed into the water. In the case of MH370, it of course would be in the Indian Ocean, and it would go down several miles. So what it's looking for is it's looking for oddities, anything on the ocean floor that looks strange, anything that looks like a debris field from an airplane wreckage, for example. And so it's completely unmanned, so there are people in a control room that would then be looking at all this preliminary information and then tagging it so that perhaps they could go back and take a look, Aaron, at those oddities that stood out to them. And Rosa, how long could it search? You know, it, it, it depends. It depends on how long the mission is going to take. So, for example, this particular probe can do a mission for about probably about 24 square miles in a day. When we're talking about the Indian Ocean, of course, it's a very big area. But it could be submersed for a really long time. Like I said, it's, it's unmanned, so it's on itself, uh, by itself, in the deep ocean, and people in a control room would be telling it exactly what to do. All right, thanks to you, Rosa.